now we will get into the third part uh, of, of, of the video, which is really uh, the, the what and the how of, of, of you know, our, our flagship product, we call it Recover X. Um, and, and, you know, as I, as I said before, um, you know, it's, it's important to understand uh, sort of the, the, the core elements of the product and then we'll apply this, uh, as I said, to, to a reference deployment diagram, or we also call it with our customers a reference deployment architecture diagram. It's really simply to explain, uh, you know, how RecoverX really fits into your environment of Cassandra databases and, and how it fits into really your backup and recovery deployment. So, so going back to the what of RecoverX, you know, in this in this whole uh, new world of, of cloud native applications and scale out architectures, we also kept that principle in mind uh, for RecoverX. So RecoverX is a scale out product. It can be deployed as as a three node uh, or or a five node product. Meaning, uh, and every node is a logical construct uh, concept. You know, it, it, RecoverX can be deployed as any piece of software on a VM or a physical server. Or if you're talking about cloud, then you can deploy it in an EC2 instance. Uh, but we'll cover sort of the deployment models in a different in a different video, um, uh, and really three nodes to five nodes is elastic concept, right? You could go from three to five nodes and five to three nodes, uh, really to meet your growing or shrinking needs of these app of these cloud applications. And number two concept uh, or the what of of Datos RecoverX is this whole notion of app consistent uh, backups. Uh, you know, we we took the notion of of backup and and took a notch above, and we really call it uh, versioning. Uh, and, and the whole notion of that is, you know, you cannot quiesce these databases or these applications, right? This is, these are always on applications. You have to think about backup. You have to think about data management in that live, liveliness of these applications. And, and we always thought backup had a connotation of snapshot, quiescing. We wanted to break free from that and, and sort of took it into the path of versioning. And why consistency? Again, this whole uh, notion that we want to deliver um, you know, extremely fast RTOs, as I mentioned earlier, and the whole notion of delivering RTOs is, is 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 not resulting repairs or putting these databases or these big data file systems into a repair mode. And the third, which is really my favorite, um, and and really what drives uh, a cost model, a efficient economic model for customers, is around this notion of semantic deduplication. Uh, you know, we have our majority of our IP is in the notion of. Uh, consistency and semantic deduplication, scale out concepts or distributed systems concepts. There's not much IP that you can build there, uh, but but semantic dedupe is uh, is really, as I mentioned earlier, if you remember the Cassandra databases or data sets in these cloud native applications are pre-compressed. And how do you deal with pre-compressed data sets as it relates to storage efficiency? And we'll get into the concept of deduplication when we get into the how.